most amazing artists. And how are you today? Today will be a great day. Today we will learn a new poem and play it on some instruments. Then Miss Collier will share a silly story that uses our poem. Last, I'll give you a little challenge to try at home. Let's create. Love, Miss Collier. Let's learn a poem. All right, so if you're in third or fifth grade, you will be familiar with this poem, but don't check out, stay with me. You can help uh, your family or friends at home uh, learn the poem, and we'll have an extra challenge uh, that I think you'll be really good at if you already know the poem. Listen, I need you to watch and figure out what motion I add to the poem. It goes like this. Monkey, monkey, moo. Shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys red and blue. Show me what motion you saw me make. Yeah, that's right, I went like this. Count how many times I made that motion. Watch and listen again. Monkey, monkey, moo. Shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys red and blue. How many times did I make that motion? Yeah, three times. This time, try the motions with me. Ready? Here we go. Monkey, monkey, moo. Shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys red and blue. Did you get it? Nice job. Let's try it again, but will you listen and tell me what this poem is about? Here we go. Monkey, monkey, moo. Shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys red and blue. Tell me, what's this poem about? It's about monkeys. Did you hear anything else? Mm. Let me give you one more chance to listen. See if you can figure out more about the poem than just monkeys. Do those motions with me. Here we go. Monkey, monkey, moo. Shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys red and blue. What did you hear about the poem that you didn't hear last time? Yeah, our poem is about a lot of different monkeys. And we say we're going to name them, and then we do. What kind of names did we call the monkeys? Yellow monkey. Purple monkey. Monkeys red and blue. Have you ever seen red and blue monkeys? Me either. Hi. This time be my echo. I'll go first. You go after me. Monkey, monkey, moo. Shall we name a few? Your turn. How'd you do? Were you ready? Do you need to try it again? Okay. My turn first, then your turn. Monkey, monkey, moo. Shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys red and blue. Monkey, monkey, moo. Shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys red and blue. Nice job. This time, longer. Remember, if you miss a couple words, it's okay. 
Monkey, monkey, moo. Shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys red and blue. Your turn. One more time. Monkey, monkey, moo. Shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys red and blue. Nice job. Okay, so we said we were going to add some instruments to our poem, but first, we're gonna use these instruments. I'm gonna tilt my camera down so you won't see my face, but you'll see my hands on my lap. See how I add my hands to the poem. Monkey, monkey, moo, shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys red and blue. What did you notice about how I added my hands to the poem? That's right, my hands matched the words that I said. What motion, extra motion, did you see? Ooh, watch again. Monkey, monkey, moo, shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys, red and blue. What extra motion was there? Yeah, I still had the... Try it with me. Here we go. Monkey, monkey, moo. Shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys, red and blue. Nice work. Let's try it two times in a row this time. You got it? I know you can do it. Monkey, monkey, moo, shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys, red and blue. Again, monkey, monkey, moo, shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys, red and blue. How'd you do? Better than last time? Awesome. Now I'm gonna try playing it on my drum. Now, I have a beautiful Tubano drum, but you probably don't have one of these at home. So if you don't have a drum like I do, you can use two markers and you can play on a table. Or you can flip over a plastic bowl or a metal bowl and you can play on the bowl. You could also use your hands on the bowl. And that makes a different sound too. I bet you can find other cool things that make sounds at home too. If you need to pause the video to go find what you're gonna play it on, do that now. All right, you're back and we're ready to roll. Here we go. Here's our poem. chance on your instrument and then we'll add it to our story. Here we go. Monkey, monkey, moo. Shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys, red and blue. Again. Monkey, monkey, moo. Shall we name a few? Yellow monkeys, purple monkeys, monkeys, red and blue. Awesome job. I'm so glad to hear that you're still saying it while you play it. That's what a great musician does. Let's read a story. Okay, now we're gonna add our poem to the story, Grumpy Monkey, written by Suzanne Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. If you're in third grade, I know you've heard this story before, but it's a good one. And we're gonna do something different in between each page. So stick with me 
and let's read. Just like when we read Creepy Carrots a couple weeks ago, when the book is down here, it's time to play. When the book is in my hands, I'm going to start reading the pages. Play along and say the poem with me. Grumpy Monkey, as performed by Cochrane Elementary's NTI class. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. Two times, here we go. Shall we? Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched up. Loosen up. Two times, here we go. So Jim raised his eyebrows. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Here we go. to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy. But he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. 
You should stomp your feet. If you are in uh, fifth grade and you know this poem, see if you can add a part on the silence like this. Here we go. Monkey, monkey. Jim asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy! shouted Jim as he beat his chest. Here you go. for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. <sighs> I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? said Jim. No. I danced with porcupines, said Norman. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. And Jim agreed. One last time. recently too, but like Jim Pansy tells us, it's okay to be grumpy. Challenge time! I hope you liked reading that story with me, and I don't want you to forget it, because we're going to bring it back next week and add something new to it. If you want a challenge, see if you can play Monkey Monkey Moo on some instruments at home. I would love to hear your video of you playing the poem again. All right, my friends, I love you. I miss you. I'll see you soon. Bye.